For many years, it has been noticed that men with lower urinary tract symptoms also have problems with their sexual function, erection problems, ejaculation problems, but there were no systematic studies to really demonstrate if these were the same problem or different problems or what the relationship between lower urinary tract symptoms and sexual function in middle-aged men. So we did a study, uh, it's nearly 10 years ago now, with funding from a major company, Sanofi Aventis, in which we took more than 20,000 men in seven countries throughout the world and they did a postal survey. They filled out questionnaires and they sent these questionnaires back anonymously. But we had many checks that the uh, information was valid and they were answering the questionnaires correctly and they were all validated very carefully selected questionnaires. And what we found was that lower urinary tract symptoms were common and age related, that uh, particularly in men over 50, more or less 40% of them had moderate to severe LUTs. We also found, not surprisingly, that as the men got older, many of them had sexual problems, erection and ejaculation problems in particular. What was unique in this study called MSAM7 was that we were able to do many analyses to correct for all of the effects of age, comorbidities, nationality, and other factors to see whether the relationship between LUTs and sexual function was a direct relationship or indirect relationship. And what we found was there is a strong direct relationship between LUTs and sexual function in these men. In other words, after we controlled for the effects of age, medication, comorbidities, other lifestyle factors, the sexual function LUTs relationship remained robust and very strong. And I'm pleased to say there have been about five or six other big studies since that time that confirmed exactly that same result. Boston Area Community Health Study is a very large study, all in the United States, funded by the National Institutes of Health to examine urologic symptoms in men and women. One of the most important findings that came out of the study is the high degree of overlap between all of the urological problems, including LUTs and including sexual function in men and in women. And what we found in the box study is that not only do these problems overlap, but they also predict other health problems, other comorbidities, depression, and quality of life factors are very much affected in men and women with this pattern of overlapping urologic symptoms. Improvement in those symptoms, other studies have found, leads to marked improvements in overall health and quality of life in these men and women. If you ask the question to every patient coming to your office by, for BPH, mainly in three out of four, you will find that he has some kind of erectile dysfunction. So he's coming for the LATS, that is lower urinary tract symptoms, but for sure three out of four will have some degree of erectile dysfunction. So you need to ask the question.